Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys my preview and predictions for GFW Destination X 2017. Now, this is kind of a funny thing because uh, Destination X is always a pay-per-view I've liked from uh, GFW, you know, when it was TNA and stuff like that. I've always loved watching, uh, you know, uh, Destination X. It was always a really fun show. And I'm happy that uh, I'm after putting it back. I really wish it was still a pay-per-view. You know, um, I think people loved watching it, but, you know, you know, it's uh, one of those shows that um, GFW likes to claim as a pay-per-view, but really, if it's shown on TV, it's not really a pay-per-view, and no one's paying money for it, so it's stupid. Um, the one thing that does make the show better, that does make the show feel special, is that uh, this is going to be a live episode of... Um, you know, uh, GFW. It's not going to be taped. It's going to be live. And yes, I, I, I should have mentioned this, but I know that, uh, you know, um, the show's already happened, but I haven't seen it yet. So is it, this is as if for me it's live. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, the first ever, uh, live. This is going to be the first live edition of GFW since, uh, Slammiversary. And I'm really looking forward to, uh, seeing, you know, uh, what the atmosphere will be like since we, it, uh, we've only seen, since, um, I've only been watching, uh, taped episodes of, uh, GFW Impact Wrestling, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but overall, this code, um, you know, the build-up to these show, to this show has been kind of crap, uh, but overall, I think the code itself with matches and stuff looks pretty good, um, uh, it's just that the build-up has su kind of sucked. A lot of these matches... We're kind of thrown together last minute. Some of these matches, I don't really understand why they're happening. Um, so, I don't think the build-up's been the best for this show, but whatever. I'm just going to kind of take it as it is, I guess. Hope on, I'm going to hope that we can get a good show out of this. Uh, but let me kind of go over the uh, match code and get my predictions for it. So, um, I'm going to start with uh, the Super X Cup Tournament Finals match. We're going to have... Um, let me look up his name. Uh, we're going to have Desmond Xavier versus TJ Ishimori. You know, you have, um, you know, the, they started the Super X Cup on, um, uh, I don't even remember the date. Uh, let me just look it up real quick. Uh, they started on July uh, 16th, 2017, and this is going to be the finals of the uh, tournament. Um, and overall, I think the matches for the tournament have been actually pretty good. Some of, I think they, some of them have been really good. Uh, nothing fantastic, though, but overall, I think the matches have been pretty good, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Desmond Xavier and uh, Ishimori work a match together. You know, you have Desmond Xavier, who defeated I Idris um, Abraham in the quarterfinals, and then in the, fi in the semifinals, he defeated Drago to advance to the finals, and you have... Uh, Ishimori, who defeated Davey Richards in the quarterfinals, and then HEH in the semifinals to qualify for the finals. So, um, I think these two could work a uh, really good match. I expect this to be really good, since it's the finals of a big tournament. Um, and if I actually had to pick a winner, I'm going to pick uh, Desmond Xavier to win this match. I actually just see something more in Desmond Xavier winning than Ishimori. I don't really see a lot in Ishimori. I think he's a decent athlete, but nothing... Uh, else is really there. He does, I don't think he has like that charisma that we're looking f that I'm looking for. But I'm gonna say that Desmond Xavier wins, and he'll eventually down the line get a uh, X Division uh, Championship match. So that's my prediction to win that um, would be uh, Desmond Xavier. And then we have the uh, ladder match for the uh, X Division Championship. Uh, we have uh, Sanjay Dutt defending the title against uh, Trevor Lee. You know this storyline's been going on because Trevor Lee stole. The uh, X Division Championship from Sanjay Dutt. But then obviously they're doing stupid stuff with it. Um, where well, um, uh, Sanjay Dutt's being banned from marinas and stuff for trying to get his title back. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and it kind of sours the storyline. It makes it bad. Uh, the storyline really wouldn't be bad if uh, it wasn't for that reason. Uh, but I can't wait for the ladder match. I think they'll work a really good ladder match together. I like Trevor Lee. I like Sanjay Dutt. So I think they're going to have a really good ladder match. One thing I actually am kind of pissed about that they took um, that they uh, took out of um, Destination X was uh, that if you were the X Division champion, you were able to cash in your title to get a um, 
you know, um, a, a world title shot. That was something that was brought in um, in Destination X 2012, and they've just completely forgotten about it. Um, and I hate that because I, I thought that made the, uh, you know, the X Division Championship appointed. You wanted to be the X Division Champion going into, uh, you know, um, Destination X, and now it, they just kind of forgot about it. I'm a little bit pissed about it. But as who for who should win this match, I'm going to say Sanjay Dutt's going to retain his title. He's been getting laid out multiple times by Trevor Lee, and I think they should give him a nice lengthy run with the uh, X Division Championship. And then we have um, the Unified uh, Women's Championship match. It's going to be Sienna defending the title against uh, Gail Kim. You know, you have Gail Kim who's recently announced that she's going to be retiring, and Sienna's kind of been talking trash about Gail Kim. So this led to this match. You know, Sienna's beaten everybody that was to, is to beat in the knockouts division. So um, if I had to pick a winner, I'm going to say that Sienna's going to win this match. This match is going to be used to really put over Sienna as a top threat to the knockouts division. So I think that would make sense to have her go over. Um, but I still don't really see something in Sienna. Maybe Gail Kim could get a decent match out of her. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Then we have uh, a shot versus shot match. We have... Uh, Matt Seidel versus Lashley, and I guess what they from what this match is, whoever wins this match will get a shot um, at a title of their choice. This match is stupid. Why is Lashley all this? How does Lashley all of a sudden go from um, wrestling for the um, you know uh, World Heavyweight Championship to now he's facing Matt Seidel? This is just a stupid fe uh, feud, and obviously um, I just don't care for it. Um, as for who's going to win, it's probably going to be Lashley. I don't see Matt Seidel winning at all, so this is just a waste of time. And then we have the main event. This might be the main event, though. It was supposed to be Alberto El Patron defending the, uh, you know, um, the GFW Unified World Heavyweight Championship against Loki. But since, but because of Alberto El Patron's suspension, they ended up stripping him of the title. So, um, you know, now um, we don't have a world title match, and. Uh, Loki just has left his face in no one. Um, I think it's pretty stupid that they would announce this match knowing the fact that Alberto El Patron was suspended. Um, I, I get uh, maybe the reason is because, uh, you know, it's, the shows were taped in advance, so they couldn't really do anything about it, whatever. Overall, what I think, I'll just kind of give a prediction of what I think is going to happen with the GFW Unified World Championships. And, um,. What I think is going to happen is I think, uh, you know, um, I think low key, I think uh, the Lashley Matt Seidel match will still be for the shot versus shot. But if La but whoever wins that match, which is I assume it will be Lashley, he will announce that he's gonna you know, that he wants his title well title shot. So then whoever the authority figure is uh, that will come out, whether it's Bruce Pritchard, uh, Dutch Mantel, Karen Jarrett, or Jeff Jarrett, and they'll he'll and he'll come up and that person will come out. And say that tonight we're going to have the main event. It's going to be Lashley versus uh, Loki. Whoever wins will get with the vacate, uh, vacated, uh, you know, um, GFW Unified World Heavyweight Championship. And Lashley will beat Loki, and he'll become the GFW Unified World Champion. And I think Lashley will turn face because I, now that Alberto El Patron's gone, there's really not a lot for uh, Lashley. Um, like there's not a lot of faces left. Um, if I would like to see anybody hold the uh, GFW Unified World Heavyweight Championship, I would like to see Moose become GFW uh, Unified World Heavyweight Champion. I think Moose is a great talent, and uh, you know if uh, I get they've been slowly building him up to I think to w hold on win a world to win the world title. I think you have the perfect opportunity to do it on this show. You know you have uh, Moose just lost his uh, Impact Grand Championship. I think he should win. The uh, GFW uh, Unified World Heavyweight Championship, and let's hope that happens. Uh, but overall, those are my predictions for uh, GFW Destination X. I'll repeat them. I, um, I predict that uh, Desmond Xavier is going to win the uh, Super X Cup Tournament Finals match. I predict that um, Sanjay Dutt's going to retain his uh, X Division title in the ladder match. I predict that, uh, I'm trying to remember all the matches just off the top of my head. Um, I predict that uh, Sienna is going to retain her uh, GFW uh, Unified Women's Championship, whatever it's called. Um, I predict that um, uh, Lashley is going to defeat Matt, uh, Matt Seidel, and then later on in the night go on to defeat Loki to uh, win the GFW Unified World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, also another thing is we have um, um, OVW, I think is, is the name, um, 
of the team. I forget exactly the name, but they're going to be debuting on the show as well. I kind of look, I've been enjoying their vignettes. I look forward to seeing what they're going to do at GFW Destination Next. Another thing that's going to happen is uh, we're going to have an in ring promo segment with uh, Kalen Jarrett and Bruce Pritchard. And I, I assume it's going to be uh, like a nice heel back and forth thing where uh, Kalen Jarrett will end up firing Bruce Pritchard um, and write him off um, and make. Um, because I heard he. I don't, no, actually, it wasn't him that left. But um, overall, I think that would be okay. And overall, that's uh, my preview and predictions. I think the show will be a decent show. I don't think it's going to be terrible, but we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to check out my past reviews for um, GFW or TNA, as it was called then, uh, Destination X videos, click on the playlist down um, in the description box below. And make sure you guys uh, like, comment, and share this video so that way people will watch it. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content and click on the bell so that way every time I upload a video on this channel, you guys will get the notification for it. And make sure you guys do the same for my uh, CM brothers and all the talking to the YouTube channels. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.